I'm going to screen some sand today. My name is Bruce Matthews. I live in Duncan, British Columbia. And it's uh, late January here in Duncan. And we have here a sand screener. And it is going to uh, separate this crushed rock into four different components as we uh, separate it out in order to extract the sand that we need for biosand water filters. I'm going to turn on the water first. And I'll put some sand inside the screener. coming out there in three different places, plus the pines will go down underneath, into the, onto the ground underneath. So that's how this thing works. I'll give you some close-up pictures in a few minutes here, but it basically, we put the crush in here, and it separates it out into three different main components. There's the largest rocks there, and then over here on this side is the medium-sized rock, and over here is a very fine rock. Let me do this. Hmm. Now over here is some of the original material that we're going to be putting into that screener there. As you can see, it's, um, it's a crushed rock mixture which contains the fine now here you can see the front end of the screener, and I'll put a handful of rock in the front, and it'll show you running it down over the screens in under the water jets there. So here's, here comes some sand, crushed rock, and the, the water jets blast on it as it goes in there, and you can see how that feeds down into the system. Now here we can see the rock and the medium and the fine sand working its way out of the screener now. You see the rock, the largest rock in the center, and over here is the finer sand coming out, and it's also being washed at the same time. And over on the other side, over there, is the medium-sized sand coming out of the other chute there. Now you'll see there's little chutes here where the where the aggregate is mixed and the sand comes out. You see that there? That's what it looks like on this side. Now I'll go around to the other side and show you the other one as well. Now this is the second screener. Now this was this is the medium sized sand coming out of come out of that chute there. You can see it there. And it's mixed with water when it comes out. And we let that water overflow over the top of the pail. And that way the sand sediment settles out to the bottom and the water drains off the top. And that water can be collected and recycled if it's needed. For example, when we're in Uganda with this, or in many other countries where there's a shortage of water, we would be collecting all that water down, down at the bottom there and we would be uh, settling out the uh, fines out of it and we would be recycling that water. Now as this is working, it's hard to see it, but what's happening underneath the screener is the very finest of the silt is dripping out the bottom there in that liquid. It's almost like a mud. It's actually very, very tiny particles of rock. The crushed rock fines is what that is. And that is being washed out the bottom. And that part we throw away. We don't save that. The other parts, like this is the medium sand, the coarse sand, and the and the and the very fine sand on the far side. We use all of those in the biosand filter.
Now the heart of this machine, the, the, the part that causes the vibration, we call it the flinger. And that is a, an out of balance shaft that's driven by that motor. And I'll br bring us up a little closer here so you can see it there. And that, that flings around and it causes the whole frame to vibrate up and down. And that's what gives the shaking motion that gets the sand separated as it goes down through the screens. Now I'll give you a more close up view of the of the screens and the flinger in the uh, bottom end of this screening machine. Looking here now you can see the top screen on the on the screener. I'll bring us in a little closer here. And you can see that screen. The mesh on that is of 24 mesh on that part of it. That's uh, 24 strands of wire per inch on that part of the screener. And that is the largest screen size in the, in the whole screener. So if we back off with that picture now and we'll show you this flinger here. See this part here? Now that is what causes the whole frame to shake. I'll just turn that a bit and I'll show you what that's like. Here we'll show you. I'll just turn this, turn this uh, belt a little bit and you can see how that out of balance shaft is what causes the whole business to shake up and down and cause the, the screening to take place. Here we have the coarse material, and over here we have the major component in sand screeners. This is the medium sized sand, and I'll just bring this up close so you can get a look at this. So come and have a close look at this. You see that? Now this we use for making the concrete that makes the biosand filter, and this is the main filter ingredient in the in the sand filter. Now I'll go and get it a handful of the finer sand now, I'll get rid of this and I'll show you the difference between this one and the next one. <clears throat> now here you can see the very finest of the sand material. Those particles range between five and ten thousandths of an inch, these guys and they make up about 10% of the sand in the sand filter, in the biosand filter, and this size of sand makes up the other, oh, let's say the other 90%. So there's, those are the two components that go inside the main filter part of the biosand filter.